How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be rebuilding the New York Yankees. It's it's the biggest, one of the bigger teams that we have left. And I figured you guys have been asking for it. So I'm going to bring it to you guys. So if you guys want to see some more rebuilds, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content. And also let me know in the comment section below what you guys would have done differently. What you guys thought of this rebuild. And some other teams that we have left that I should rebuild next. I got the Red Sox, the Astros, the Royals and the diamondbacks and dodgers i think those are the last ones so we're, we're running low on team so definitely know uh let me know what to do next so without any further ado let's hop into this one guys i let you guys know in every single video what roster i'm using i use the osfm v4.5 it was literally under my webcam last video the entire video and i still had comments asking what roster i use so the roster doesn't change it's always by the same person he just uses he just makes an updated one every single couple weeks or month so that's the one i use all right so let's get into this one i already know what i want to do i want to manage contracts with this team i want to get rid of aging players and i want to bring in some players that are going to help us right away aging players i want to get rid of ja hap lance lynn cc sabathia i think severino is going to be our ace tanaka is a good pitcher he does well in sim style franchise um, we have Jordan Montgomery who develops quite nicely um, and we have a couple other prospects down here I'm not sure if Justice Sheffield is going to be good enough to or like develop quick enough I know in real life he just got called up to the majors but I don't know if he'll develop quick enough I do I do what kind of want to see um, if he'll be good enough by the time season three hits but we'll have to wait and see um, there in the relievers Chad Green is great Zach Britton is great but Tansis is good Robertson is decent. Um, Sonny Gray's good for that long relief. Jonathan Holder's decent. So I think we're good in relief pitching for once. Even a role this Chapman. I think for once, we really don't need to make any changes to the bullpen. Um, looking at catchers, Gary Sanchez, no changes needed. We will be looking for a first baseman. Greg Bird and Neil Walker just don't really get me excited in terms of good first baseman. Glaber Torres turns into like a 93 overall, 94 overall within two, three seasons. Second baseman, we're set. Third base, Miguel Andujar. He doesn't develop as quickly as I would like to, so maybe I'd find a new third baseman and maybe use him as kind of like a platoon player. But if he does develop and performs, I'll let him be the third baseman and, you know, kind of hold that spot. Didi Gregorius, he has been very streaky this year in real life. And to be honest, for a player that's 82 overall, see potential, probably going to start to decrease in value. I might try to package him and another player to find a better shortstop or even move um, Glaber Torres to short and find a new second baseman. Left field, Stanton, we are set. set. The only problem we may... Oh, his contract set, so we don't have to worry about that. I was going to say maybe we have to sign him to a new contract, but we don't. Aaron Hicks, he's not bad, but I feel like we could definitely find a new center fielder. We all are also going to get rid of Jacoby Ellsbury. Um, so a new center fielder is probably one of the players I'll be looking to get and also a second base or shortstop. So those are the two right now that I know we'll definitely need. Aaron Judge, no need to find anybody else. We're set with him. We'll just have to pay him once free agency comes up. McCutcheon, don't get me wrong, phenomenal player in real life. He's kind of like slowly gone down just a little bit obviously age has something to do with that he's moved around a little bit but i still think he's a phenomenal ball player in real life but for 10 million dollars i definitely could find someone a lot better who could help us out so with that being said i know i went through this roster really really quick one because you guys really know who's on the yankees and two there's not that many changes that need to be done with this squad um a lot of the players are probably going to stay the main thing is starting pitching is a place I want to um, improve on and also second base or shortstop depending on where I put Glaber Torres and also a center fielder. So center fielder, middle infielder, and definitely starting pitching. Outside of that, I think this team is really set to push for a World Series season one after a couple trades, push for a World Series season two after a couple trades, and even season three we should be a powerhouse and we shouldn't have to worry about making the World Series. So. Let's hop into it. Let's get some of these trades done. Catch you guys in a sec. Trade number one, we're finding that new first baseman. We are trading Didi Gregorius, J.A. Happ, and Greg Bird for Freddie Freeman, a player that we have locked up for three years now. So we definitely will have him for the rest of the rebuild. On top of that, he's 91 overall. He's one of the best first basemen in the league. 
and he definitely is going to bring a new bat to the squad. So welcome to New York, Freddie Freeman. Second trade we're doing is trading two outfielders and one of our starting pitcher and prospects, but I think it's going to be okay that we do this. We're getting rid of McCutcheon, Brett Gardner, and Chance Adams. Chance Adams got beat potential. I'm still going to hold on to Justice Sheffield because I still want to see how he develops. But with that being said, we're getting Fernando Rodney, who is really the only player that makes this trade work because without him, we can't complete this trade because of budgetary constraints. So the one we're going after, though, is Sean Minea of the Athletics. Great lefty, a potential, 83 overall, 26 years old. I'm, look, I'm, I'm excited to bring him in to the squad. It's definitely going to improve our pitching. Final trade we're going to be making to improve that starting pitching is Ross Stripling of the Dodgers for Lance Lynn, CC Sabathia, and Luis Medina. Basically, I want to dump that salary for a smaller salary player. And Ross Stripling is not that bad of a pitcher. 28 years old, 82 overall. I think this is going to really solidify the rotation. Now really the only thing that we're lacking is that middle infielder who I don't really want to get right now because we do have um, Echeverria as well as we, you know, we also need a center fielder, but I'm going to let um, these players kind of hold out for now just because I feel like we made enough trades for season one. I want to see how it goes. So this trade I'm going to be making is for um, Michael Hermosillo of the Angels. We're going to be rating of uh, Tyro Estrada but i feel like we do need another like kind of corner outfield prospect and we we still have tyler wade here so i'm okay with letting estrada go um with that being said we are getting rid of we are getting Hermosillo, who i know develops very very quickly so we're getting rid of two aging players in ellsbury and rodney and a prospect in estrada for Hermosillo. um with that being said our bench is looking kind of weak and by kind of weak, I mean it's looking very weak. We don't have a bench right now. So I'm going to have to call up some players I really don't want to. Pitching wise, this is how we're going to start for the first year. Sevi, Manea, Manaya, however you want to say it. Masahiro Tanaka, Ross Stripling, and Jordan Montgomery. In relief, we have Sonny Gray, David Robertson, Chad Green, Bellin Batansis, Jonathan Holder, Zach Britton, Thomas Can uh, Tommy Canely, and also Roldis Chapman. I'm actually going to let Holder develop one year in the minors because i definitely think he'll he'll do well just kind of letting him develop for one more year this is the lineup it is the top half is very good the bottom half needs a little bit of work but glaber torres aaron judge gary sanchez giancarlo stanton uh freddie freeman adeni echeverria neil walker miguel andujar and aaron hicks on the bench we got quentin berry austin romine and ronald torres not really the best of benches but it'll do for now until we can make some moves at deadline day and also the offseason. With that being said, um, I'm not too sure about scouting because I don't really know if a player will make the team in two to three years. So I'll still probably scout. And unless we get a really, really good talent, it's I'm, you know, it's one of those things where if we get good talent, I'll show you guys. But if not, I probably won't because I don't see them cracking this squad in a couple seasons unless they're like all 70 rated the first season so i'll see you guys at draft day and uh, we'll see how it goes already draft day let's see how the first couple picks go see if i feel confident or not i'm pretty sure we have a low pick yeah 23 let's see how it goes we're gonna go adrian guerra with our first pick more of a contact hitter but good plate vision contact fielding stats arm strength um he looks just really well rounded he's a lefty bat we're gonna go with him with our first pick we're gonna go jaime Bay. Jaime Villa out of Colombia for our next pick. Um, the only other players that we have scouted don't look that good, so um, I'm not too sure I'll pick them. We're gonna go another first baseman, Pedro Enriquez. His contact stats, plate vision, plate discipline just look really good. Fielding arm strength look really good. Um, just another, it just looks like a player that looks like he's gonna be good in the future. All right, Cesar Nieves is one of the last players we have scouted. This one we don't have fully scouted, but his stats don't look too good for the future. So we're going to go with Nieves there. We're going to go Freddie Beverly here, center field. There are not too many players look that great right now. I mean, there's only two rounds left, so we'll see who will go with the last one. We'll go Stanley Aoki, even though he doesn't, he doesn't look that good. And no one else really looks too promising um, out of these last picks. Actually, Eric Fujita doesn't look too bad, so we'll, we'll pick him up. Let's go see how our picks look. Alrighty, so our very first pick, Adrian Guerra, that first baseman, 99 potential. Unfortunately, he's 58 overall, so unless he develops very quickly, he won't make it into the squad. But a 99 potential player, 
That's a pretty solid pickup. The second one, 83 over, uh, potential looks pretty decent as well. Jaime Villa, 59 overall. Um, so that's that's not a bad second pick either. Um, outside of that, Pedro Enriquez was that um, other first baseman we drafted. 55 overall, 79 um, potential. So he's not too bad. Um, Cesar Nieves was actually not a bad little pickup. 67 overall already. And he's got an 87 potential. Good Ks per nine already at 82. So that's, that's good to see. And then you can see um, Freddie Beverly, 78 potential, 56 overall. Um, eh, and then Fujita doesn't look that good. We're not going to sign him. So those were the picks for the first season. We'll see how they develop over the couple next couple of years. See you guys at deadline day. So as you can see, we're five and a half games behind in the East. The Red Sox, they're actually one of the teams that we just can't beat um, when I sim them. Like every single time I come against them, we lose like two of three games. But with that being said, we hold a pretty good lead in the wild card, so I'm feeling pretty confident there. Looking at how everyone's performing, Yuki Severino is a 92 overall, 9 and 6 on the year. Um, decent stats. Um, ERA is not as good as he was last year, but still, 3 6 isn't horrible. Um, I wish it was a little bit better, but it's still a decent number. Sean Maneo is up to an 86. You can see he's going up 13 and 4 on the year. A 2 3 4 ERA is superb like really really good um his stats look solid as well tanaka 82 overall he's 11 and 6 on the year 330 era for a three pitcher that's pretty solid to see as well ross stripling going down having a rough year definitely having a rough year and jordan montgomery he's an 81 overall 10 and 3 on the year with a 333 era i like that stripling though not not going too good so what's what's the issue here contract coaching and individual performance wow okay so yeah he's got some like a lot of things affecting his performance or, or his morale and his stats right now Sonny Gray is a 76 he's holding you know not bad 317 ERA 65 innings okay not too bad David Robertson is holding at his um, overall 3.5 ERA. Chad Green is going down, which is unfortunate to see because normally he turns into a really good reliever. Um, he is having a pretty solid year. Um, based on his team role and his contract, obviously that's on, you know, affecting his um, status as well. Dellen Betances, um, again, his contract, team role, and individual performance is letting him down, which is weird because he's actually having a decent year. Um, so I don't I don't really understand that Thomas Canely is an 87 overall um, He's have like a 0.48 ERA. I don't get that. Why is he going down? Zach Britton's holding his own but a 4 ERA is not good You can see his contract his coaching and his individual performance. Holy cow. We have a lot of unhappy players right now um, I might fire a lot of the coaches and bring in some some new ones because it feels like a lot of players are upset at the coaching staff right now that we currently have lineups wise like i said glaber torres turns into an absolute beast he's 87 overall um he's looking pretty solid aaron judge is a 93 overall you can see his stats there um he's hitting a 274 gary sanchez is going down why is what why is he going down that's not good to see john carlos stanton's going up which is good to see Freddie Freeman is a 92. He's hitting 307 on the year with 35 homers. All right. Echeverria is doing, you know, okay. Neil Walker is actually going up. And Duhar is a 76. It does take a little bit for him to go up. Like I said, Aaron Hicks is around that 79 mark. And then on the bench, not really worried about those players there. Um, the ones I want to look at here, Justice Sheffield's almost a 70, which is great to see. Another player, Jonathan Holder, is actually not going up too much so maybe i need to bring him up to the majors to see him develop outside of that there really weren't many players um, that i was keeping my eye on tyler wade is hurt which is unfortunate so he won't be developing as quickly clint frazier is a 67 esteban florial is a 65 Hermesio is a 69 so he might be that platoon outfielder that we use next season um, which will be good to have for a rotation so with that being said I do want to change up the coaches, so I'm going to do that off camera. I don't really think that's like too important for you guys to see. Um, but I may trade some of these, like maybe like a Tom, Tommy Canely because, you know, he's not really holding his value. Um, he's dropping and so is David Robertson. So maybe, um, you know, swaps, swap some of the older players 
maybe also open up some salary space in a trade we'll see i'll let you guys know any roster moves that we make before the end of the season all right so i'm moving on one of our aging um relievers in um george contest i don't really see him helping us out too much going forward on top of that he's getting paid two million for the next like six seven years so I'd rather save that space. Um, we're also getting rid of Trey Abergy, Abergy um, a player I don't really see doing anything for us anytime soon. And um, we're gonna be picking up a center fielder, Khalil, Leo, Khalil Lee from the Royals, a 19 year old with B potential, 60 overall. I figured let's get rid of a player that I don't really wanna pay for the future and bring in a, a decent little prospect who could be trade, um, a trade piece in the future, or even just a player that I want to use, like just keep in the farm system to kind of help with the rebuild aspect of the team. So that's the trade I'm going to be making for um, the deadline. I know it's not a trade that like affects the team right now, but with the way we're performing, I'm okay with that. I changed up some of the the coaches to make them better. So a lot of the players' morale has gone up since the coaching staff has gone up. So a lot of their overalls have gone back to a little bit normal um, status. So I feel like that's a good move for us. So I'm going to assume to the end of the season. See you guys then. As you can see, we finished 106 and 57 and we actually won the division. We're going to be taking on the winner of the wild card game. Um, you can see the playoff bracket there. So let's see how we finished off. We finished one game ahead of the Red Sox. Um, and in the wild card, the Blue Jays actually snuck up into that um, last wild card spot. League leaders, Stanton had 51 homers, Judge had the most runs scored, Freddie Freeman had base on balls, Giancarlo Stanton had slugging, and Freddie Freeman had OPS. On top of that, Sean Manea had 22 wins and had the best war, which is awesome to see that our team's performing well. Freddie Freeman, MVP, Rookie of the Year, Glaber Torres, Hank Aaron Award for Freddie Freeman, and Gold Glove for a couple players. So that's, that's a solid season for us. Let's look at the squad. Sevy finished 13 and 10, which is unfortunate to see. A little bit high on the ERA side um, for an ace, especially a 3-7, 3-8 ERA is kind of high. Sean Manea though, 22 and 7. He's a 90 overall, has a 2-5-5 ERA. That's ace material for sure. Masahiro Tanaka, 3.33 ERA is phenomenal for a you know a 3-4 starter. 16 and 7 on the year 50 walks in 200 innings pitch that's a good number to see 180 strikeouts i like to see that jordan montgomery is up to an 85 already he's 18 and 5 on the year 200 innings pitch 63 walks 150 or about 150 strikeouts and a 313 era those are numbers i want to see ross stripling was 76 at the deadline he's up to an 81 now he did finish 10 and 11 on the year era is pretty high it is definitely very high, so that's going to be something I have to keep in mind um, for you know going forward. Sonny Gray, under three ERA is a good number to see. He pitched 105 innings in that long relief role. I'm okay with that. David Robertson, he's an 88. His stats are kind of going up and down. Um, decent numbers, 100 innings pitched, 3-3 ERA. Okay, I'll, I'll accept that. Chad Green, though, is going down even though his performance is... Um, decent you know he had a 2-3 era the big thing for him i think is the team role and the contract that's up minus 20 and that's really going to affect his overall so that's something i don't like to see but is an 81 he's got a three era okay okay um obviously he's quite angry with his performance his contract and his team role so it's bringing him down five overall tommy canely is average um you know his morale is not affecting him and he actually did pretty solid 30 innings under a one era zach Britton, 85 he looks like he's going up which is decent a three era though as a setup role is kind of nerve-wracking um you can see that his region his team role is kind of affecting and his contract is affecting him so we'll have to see what we can do with that and a role this chapman that's a high that's definitely a high um era for a closer that's something I don't like to see. He, seven blown saves, that's something I don't like to see though. Glaber Torres is almost a 90 after one season. You can see that, you know, he, he hit 250 on the year, 23 homers, okay, okay. Aaron Judge, 96 overall, he'll definitely be getting a max contract after this season. 300 on the year, 43 homers, and 109 ribbies. Gary Sanchez, Sanchez he says he's going down, 
Um, I don't get that. Um, he had a phenomenal year. 277, 42 homers, 116 ribbies. Giancarlo Stanton is going up. 51 homers, 115 ribbies, 283. Freddie Freeman, 48 homers, 129 RBIs, 300, 306 average. Echeverria is a 76, but I probably won't be bringing him back. Neil Walker's an 81. Okay. Andujar has gone up to a 77. And Aaron Hicks is an 81 on the bench. No one I'm really too interested in looking at. Looking at the um, rest of the players, Luis Cesar is a 71. Sef Sheffield is a 70. Acevedo is a 69. Schmidt is a 68. So a couple decent growing players. Um, Jonathan Holder is an 80. So that one season in the minors was huge. So next season, we could possibly move one of these um, or let one of these relievers go and just use Jonathan Holder, who's going to be a lot cheaper and um, like, and we won't have to pay these other guys for it. So it might be something I keep my mind, you know, keep my eye on, just especially since um, I'm expecting to pay a lot of players in this franchise. Um, Giovanni Urshel is almost a 70. Tyler Wade is a 70, so he can be kind of like our platoon midfielder. Um, Clint Frazier is almost a 70. Floreal is a 66. Khalil Lee went up one rating since we acquired him. Hermosillo is a 70. I like to see that. He's not necessarily a good hitter, but the speed and the fielding is nice to see. So that's that's the team as a whole. Let's get into this playoffs. Let's see who we're taking on. We're taking on the Red Sox. So it's definitely going to be a good series. Game one, we lost. Like I said, this is kind of our bogey team in the year. So um, let's see if we can get through this series. It's game five, so we are going to play it. Or quick manage it, I should say. We are at home in Yankee Stadium. I'm going to let Sevi take this one. I want I want the best that we can get. So this is the squad. Nunez, Bogarts, Martinez, Mookie Betts. Um, their left field is Ben Attendi. Moreland is their first baseman. Jackie Bradley Jr. in center. Ian Kisler. Kinsler and Blake Swihart. This is our team on the right. I think it's looking good. It's a solid looking team. Um, so let's see how this game goes. A double to start the game is definitely not what I want. And we're already down one nothing. <sighs> All right. Single though. Okay. And then three straight strikeouts. Okay. Not good. Freddie Freeman. Nope. <sighs> Come on guys. What are we, what's going on here? There we go. Aaron Hicks ties it up there. We get a single from Torres. A strikeout. Can Stanton keep it going? No. Two straight singles to lead off the fourth. Base is loaded. Double play. Okay. Get out of the inning. Stolen base. Error. Walks in a run. But okay, only one run. Okay, base is loaded with no outs and we allow one run. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. We just got to get that run back. We got to get that run back. What is going on here? Five to one? What is <sighs> I'm gonna take him out. I'm just some something's not feeling right with Sevy right now. You know, I feel like every time I go to my ace or my my pitchers that I rely on, they don't they don't produce. Base is loaded though. We're gonna get knocked out first round. Like, keep that in mind. We're going to get knocked out first round. I just don't get it. Unless we put up some crazy numbers here in the ninth. We're, we're going to get knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just... We're down six runs. What just happened? Like, that is so dumb. All right. Um, just... Who wins the World Series? The Red Sox defeated the Cubs. So at least we lost to the World Series champs, but we lost to the Red Sox. Like, that's that's the rivalry. We can't lose to them. I'm just flabbergasted. Like, that is ridiculous that that just happened. These are the two players I'm offering, offering exclusive negotiations to. The other ones, they just want too much money for what I'm willing to offer. Like, to willing to pay, I should say. So these are the players I offered arbitration to. Sonny Gray and then Torres. Um, Austin Romine just not really looking for like looking to add to the team contracts wise it's going to be yeah it's going to be all these guys so that's basically what I got to tell you guys already the trade we're making to open up some salary space because I want to make a move in free agency because we lost a couple of our relievers because 
bringing in Freddie Freeman actually kind of hurt us in terms of salary. Um, I'm going to be going after Ethan Campbell and also Felipe Vasquez of the Cubs, formerly of the Pirates. Um, another lefty closer for Chase Numata, a catcher who you know I'm not really seeing helping us in the future for a role as Chapman as well. Lefty for lefty, closer for closer basically, and catcher for catcher. I feel like this is going to open up some space that we need, um, especially since we are losing two of our relievers. We lost Chad Green and also, um, no, we kept Chad Green. Who would we lose? We lost Zach Britton. He went to the Angels. And we might lose um, David Robertson because we can't afford him. So if that happens, we're going to need a new reliever. So we did sign DJ LeMayhew, a player I've actually never brought in, but a new second baseman for us. We were looking for that, and I think this allows us to bring someone in and not necessarily have to trade one of our prospects for him. And then we can move Torres to short. So I think that's the move we're going to make there. So, I mean, it's already completed, so that's the move. Trade number one is for a new center fielder to start the next season. Keon Broxton for Pedro Enriquez. Um... Who else? Giovanni Urshela and also Aaron Hicks. It's a cheaper deal for us. Um, we open up a little bit of salary space, so it works out for the best. We got a new center fielder in Keon Braxton, who actually goes up to an 80 once we trade for him. So I like I like what I see there. Um, I'm not sure if I need another move or not. I feel like we kind of do. I feel like our bench is kind of weak. <laughs> um, I mean, our what's it called our dh is ronald terreras or miguel andujar so it's it's like yikes you know what i mean it's one of those things so bringing in keone kayla or keone kayla of the pirates we're getting rid of albert abreu the left fielder zach zayner and also um a pitcher in domingo germain a player that probably won't get too much time especially with sesa and sheffield right behind him who are developing pretty quickly and we're getting another bullpen arm like I was looking for. I think our lineup is just too deadly to try to switch anything up. We don't have like the greatest bench, but I mean, we have just crazy players. LeMahieu is a good contact hitter. Freeman, Judge, Sanchez, Stanton, Glaber Torres. I'm obviously going to move some stuff around. Like, it, you know, I'm not going to let these guys be at the, the, the top of the lineup. So, um... You guys can just see we have a very powerful lineup so we'll we'll see how it goes i feel pretty comfortable with it we do have a couple players in you know down here as well like i said sesa sheffield um heller um we got ethan campbell who we traded we traded for him from the the cubs yeah that's what i think it was right we have adrian guerra who we drafted um we have florial we have frazier we brought up Tyler Wade to be a kind of like a bench bat. We have Aramisio. Um, who else did we draft? We drafted. Um, who did we draft? I'm already forgetting now. Cesar Nieves, I think, was one of the players who we drafted. Um, and then that was, I think that was it. That were like the big names to watch out for. So I feel like we got we got some decent players in the farm system as well. Um, CPU is going to handle all the scouting let's hop into season two as you can see at the deadline we're doing pretty solid 78 and 29 we're, we're we're killing it we're 15 games up which is crazy to think about when we're with the red sox in our division so looking at the cpu's draft pretty solid jesse janeway um 62 overall 90 potential okay that's not too bad 81 potential for jeff Mc, McCaig, who's 60 overall 65 overall pj webb is 82 um, potential 59 overall and then the rest not not that great not that great so we're gonna let them go looking at the squad you can see Sevi 12 and 5 277 ERA that's what I want to see a 277 ERA Manea 15 and 2 313 ERA a little higher but still that's 15 and 2 that's crazy to think about Jordan Montgomery 88 he's 9 and 2 on the year 3-2-2 ERA. Ross Stripling, 9-6, 4-2-2 ERA. So he's looking more as a five starter. And Tanaka, 2 ERA almost, and 13-2 and two in the year. You can see how the bullpen's looking. Sunny Gray, a little shaky, a little shaky. Chad Green is an 88 still with a 3-5 ERA. 
Jonathan Holder, 78 overall, a little high ERA. Tommy Canely's definitely going down, so he's he's probably on the way out. Um, Batances is having a little bit of a rough year. Keon Kayla, doing pretty solid there. And Felipe Vasquez, he's going down, but he's he's doing pretty solid. Like I don't understand why he's going down. So maybe I think Canely's going to be traded for sure. And we'll definitely try to find a new reliever there. DJ LeMayhew's an 87. He's having a solid year, almost 300. Um, Torreira is, you know, I'm not too, expecting too much of him. Aaron Judge was out for a couple months, but, he, you know, his numbers are still looking pretty solid. Gary Sanchez is having a solid year, but says he's going down. I don't understand that. Same with Stanton. Um, he's, you know, maybe because of his performance. Torres, Glaber Torres is a 92. That's great to see. Andujar is almost an 80 now. Um, Quinton Berry is starting now because Keon Broxton tore his ACL. So he's out for the season. And then Freddie Freeman's an 87. Um, he got hurt as well. So that's why you see him down here in the lineup. So I'll definitely move him back up in the lineup. Um, so that he gets, you know, he gets he gets his spot. You can see I move him up in the lineup. He goes up in overall as well. Um, on the bench, Ethan Campbell, who we traded for, is already a 75, so that's good to see. Tyler Wade's a 76, so he's looking pretty solid. So maybe if he hits like the mid 80, low 80s by the end of the season, I can trade DJ and Mayhew and use Tyler Wade as a second baseman. That's a good idea right there. Um, so with that being said, I don't think anybody's really developed enough to come into the majors. Um, yeah, no one's really. Just quickly look at it, vote, okay. Um, but outside of that, no one's really developed enough. To, yeah, no one's really, you know, gotten good enough to come into the major. So I wanna find a new reliever. Outside of that, I think our team's looking pretty solid. So let me get that new reliever. I'll show you guys and we'll get to the end of the season. We're going to Alex Claudio. We're getting rid of Tommy Canely like I thought I wanted to. Just, he's just not performing. Um, I'm gonna give Batances a little bit of room to develop um or just hold his spot for the rest of the year matt sauer is also leaving and trevor steven for alex claudio another left uh, a lefty which i don't think we have too many of in the bullpen i think we just have sunny gray and his stats look pretty solid so i feel like this is a decent little move for us um really outside of that like batansis is a player that i'm kind of worried about because He's gonna want a lot of money and like he just he's not performing well which is why his you know his overall keeps dropping so i just don't feel like i feel like we should trade him while we still have the opportunity to get something from him so i don't know i don't know so i'll have to think about it because i know at the end of the year we're gonna need to bring in some of these players back so we'll have to think. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go. We're gonna leave it like that, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So we have the best record ever in a major league season. 119 and 43. We're taking on the winner of the wild card spot, which is probably gonna be Boston. Oh, it could be Houston too. Um, league leaders, I skipped them all. Um, Freddie Freeman for average. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Stanton for ribbies. Freeman was almost for runs and Judge and Stanton and LeMahieu and Sanchez. Um, on base percentage was Freeman and Judge right behind him. Judge had slugging. OPS was Judge. And then wins a couple players, losses a couple players, saves. Felipe Vasquez did his work. ERA. Holy cow. All right. So we had a lot of, a lot of really good players this year. Um, holy cow. Carlos Correa hit 52 homers. Silver slugger was Freddie Freeman. Hank Aaron was Aaron Judge, Gold Glove for Stanton, and Cy Young for Severino. But Carlos Correa, have yourself a year. Holy cow. So, Sevy won the um, Cy Young. 2.66 ERA, 20 and 5 on the year, 230 innings pitched. He's a 98 overall, 70 runs the entire year. And you can see this, like, this is nuts. 70 runs, how many were earned? 68 this is ace material and i love it right there sean Minea right behind him three five era 18 and four like those are still decent stats as well um jonah montgomery's an 88 he had a 3-1 era 16 and four on the year like 
this this pitching staff is performing very well. Tanaka, 2-4 ERA, 21 and 4. This might be the best starting rotation we've ever had in a rebuild. 13 and 9, 4-4-6 ERA. Eh. I mean, I say we have the best rotation and then we go and look at that. But overall, not too bad. Sonny Gray, a little bit of a down year from the previous year, um, but still not too bad. Definitely not bad at all. Chad Green is an 89 overall, 286 ERA. That is definitely what I want to see. Um, we got him locked up for the next couple years as well, so that's that's really good to see. Jonathan Holder is a 78. He had a little bit of a 475 ERA. I wish it was a little bit better, but definitely not too bad. Alex Claudio is an 84, which is good to see. Betances, okay, that's what I want to see. He's going up. Um, he's starting to get back on track 370 ERA still a little bit high but you know what I'll, I'm cool with that Keone Kayla is you know he did a really good holding like that setup role did really well for him and Felipe Vasquez even though it says he's going down everything went well for him 55 saves 2128 ERA and he only blew five of them so that's that's solid to see DJ LeMahieu 87 overall 288 so a little bit of a down year from last year but still good numbers to see. Freddie Freeman's a 90. He had 29 home runs. homers. He was hurt for a little bit during the year. So he had a very good average, not as good run production. He also hit in the two spot. So that's also going to contribute to that. Aaron Judge, a monster. 99 overall, more homers, more ribbies, better average. Can't complain. Gary Sanchez, 92. Less homers, less ribbies, better average though. So, I mean, even those homers and ribbies weren't that far off. Stanton, 45 homers, 134 ribbies. Like, that's that's good numbers to see. Glaber Torres is a 93, like 289 average. That's good to see. Miguel Andujar is almost an 80. Quentin Berry filled in for Keon Broxton because he was hurt all season. Ronald Torres, yeah. Ethan Campbell, that catcher we traded for, he's a 76 already. He only hit 219, but still, he's developing quite nicely. Tyler Wade's a 77. Um, in his first professional year and then Clint Frazier is a 72 um, as well looking at the pitchers Sesa is a 74 Sheffield's a 72 um, and the player we've drafted Jaime Villa is a 62 so that's not too bad um, the closer Nieves 71 not bad for a player that we drafted um, Guerra's a, a 62 already that's good to see um, let's see who else Frazier's a 72, Floreal's a 70 as well, is a 73, so he could be a, one of those platoon outfielders for us, so definitely very, very solid year for us, we are going to be playing Boston again, so I, s I swear, we're, like this, whenever we play the wildcard team, it just doesn't go well for us, ever, who we, we're going against Sale, Let's move let's move Freddie down a little bit in the lineup <sighs> okay judge there we go that's what I'm talking about we get a homer to start the start the game so now we just can't let them score we can't let them do that you know what I'm saying like we take the lead and then we let them right back into it first and second no outs Stanton bases loaded judge Gary Sanchez Grand Slam. See, that's what I'm talking about. We we can get the runs. We just gotta we gotta hold them. Andujar, okay, there we go. A fly out, a strikeout, and a strikeout. So see, like we can't we can't let that happen. We can't let that happen. We gotta we gotta hold on to this. Fielder's choice, caught stealing, and we get out of the inning. So that was his last inning for sure. Alright, so we're gonna be going righty, lefty, lefty, righty. Ooh. Um, we'll go Sunny Gray. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Whew. Whew. All right. All right. All right. I'm feeling like, you know, this is some serious stuff. All right. So we got guy on first one out. Okay. Pop out, out, there we go. That, that was clutch right there. Aaron Judge flies out. Sanchez, Freddie, man, I got something in my eye. Freddie walks, and then nothing there. We're hitting that crunch time now, so we're gonna bring in Kayla. 
he walks a guy all right that's that's enough vasquez come in close it out Again, what? What can I do? Again, a repeat of last year. Red Sox defeat the Cubs, but still, so dumb. Let's let's get season three. We we need to do something about this. All these guys got arbitration. All right, we're bringing in Jordan Hicks and Marcelo Zuna for Quintenberry, Clint Frazier and um, Jonathan Holder. So this is kind of like that last push to find a team that's just really gonna make us good. Marcelo Zuna's gonna be like that bench bat, maybe that bolt, um, that, what am I trying to say? That DH that we've been kind of lacking. Um, which now means, like I, I kind of like that, wait. There we go. Um, I kind of like Marcelo Zuna as like a, a bench bat slash um, DH. We could also use um, Tyler Wade there because he does hit him a little bit better. Um, I actually kind of like how they had that. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll have Marcelo Zuna be the DH versus lefties because he hits lift lefties pretty good. But now we have like a good bench uh, player in Osuna. We have um what am i trying to say we have a good reliever now in jordan hicks like we're looking we're looking pretty solid now i feel the team is like really well rounded we got power we got just good like we just got a good team and i like i like what we have i feel good about this season let's get into it and i'll see you guys at trade deadline day at the deadline day you can see we're still doing really well in the division um draft picks wise let's see what the cpu did really only one good one ron shaw 55 overall um with 84 potential the rest look pretty bad let's quickly look at the squad the season's going to be pretty quick it's season three i really want to push to the playoffs and do well sevy though is doing sevy things he's amazing sean Manea is doing pretty solid as well um low era good strikeout walk numbers 11 and 6 on the year jordan montgomery has started to decrease unfortunately probably based on um contracts a big one but you can see you know i mean 11 and 5 on the year is not bad um tanaka is starting to decrease as well and then stripling is starting to decrease as well so pitching looks like it's kind of getting a little shaky sunny gray though is having a solid year his uh era has gone down from the previous year and it just looks like he's going up chad green's going down which is a little disappointing to see i also don't know why his picture isn't there anymore i don't get that um keone kayla is going down yikes um jordan hicks is going up which is good to see alex claudio is going up which is good to see Batansis is doing good in the setup role and felipe vasquez is going up so maybe <sighs> let's see why green is not doing well why is he expecting to be a closer? I never said he would be a closer. And then Kayla's contracts. Maybe move Kayla for a new pitcher. We'll have to see. LeMay Hughes in 86. He's hitting 268. Aaron Judge is still in 99. He's hitting 321. And he's he's seven homers short of his number from last year already. Freddie Freeman's a 93. He's matched his numbers from last year. But like last year, I said he was hurt a lot. So um, Gary Sanchez. Okay. Okay. Giancarlo Stanton though, pretty solid numbers. Glaber Torres is a 94, um, and he's hitting about 300. Tyler Wade's a 78, which is good to see. Andujar finally hits that 80 mark, and you can see he's having a solid year. And Keon Broxton's an 82, and he looks to be doing pretty solid there as well. So I like that. Ethan Campbell, the player we traded for, is an 80, even though his hitting's not that great. Marcelo Zuna's still at that 83 mark. Torres is a 74, and Hermes is at 75, and he's hitting 400 on the year. Okay, looking at some of the prospects, Sesa is a 77, Sheffield's a 74. Um, that player we drafted, Jaime Villa, is a 64. Um, Nieves is a 74, okay. Um, McKaig was a CPU draft, and Janeway was a CPU draft, so they're doing pretty solid as well. Um, Guerra's a 66. Okay, okay. Um, 
Florial's a 72, Khalil Lee is a 64, and that's really about it. So I want to trade Kayla while he's decreasing because I don't understand why he's not doing too well. Probably because his performance isn't that great. So let's see if we can find a new reliever. Everson Pereira, as well as Keone Kela for Juan Minea of the White Sox. Actually develops quite nicely. Really, the only stat that's letting him down is his walks per nine. Having a decent little year. So why not just pick him up, add him to the bullpen. Looks pretty solid for us. So now with him in the um, in the lineup, it's, it's looking a little bit more sound i like the way it's looking that's really the only trade i want to make i like the lineup i like what we have um maybe let maybe let broxton lead off first righties because he's got a little bit of power about him versus righties so uh or versus lefties he's got a little bit of power versus lefties so we'll try that for the rest of the season and uh, see how it goes. I'll see you guys at the playoffs. As you can see, we won our division again, 103 and 60. We're playing the playoff team of the wild card team in the playoff, which I'm assuming is gonna be the Red Sox, just because it's always been that way. You guys can see the notifications: doubles for Lemayhew, um, Freeman had the batting average, run scored for Judge, and walks for Judge. Severino had shutouts and WHIP. So again. We have a really solid team. Correa, again, was the player uh, MVP. Silver Slugger for Freddie Freeman. Carlos Correa, last two seasons, surreal numbers. Holy cow. But let's look at the squad as a whole. Sevi, those are just amazing numbers to see. Uh, 281 ERA, 15-7. Um, runs in the 70s, that, those are just great numbers to see. Manea, again, really good numbers to see from him as well. Um, yeah, that's, those are just good. Jordan Montgomery still in the 86 role, like 86 overall. He's had a solid season. Tanaka, he's going down, had his worst season for sure, but still a decent little four starter and Ross Stripling. He was probably our biggest letdown for pitcher. Sonny Gray had a solid season for himself. Um, not as good as his first year ERA wise, but again, Decent, decent. Chad Green is still going down, which is unfortunate to see. Jordan Hicks is an 89, which is great. And he had probably one of his best years so far with a 3-2-3 ERA. Juan Minea, okay, not too bad to see that. Alex Claudio is still around that 85 mark with a 2-5-2 ERA. Betances is an 89. ERA has risen a little bit. And, Velas and Vasquez, his ERA has gone up to not a good year for him. Only five blown saves, but not that many... Um, Saves overall. LeMay, who's still around the 86 mark. Not as good as last year. Judge, though, more homers. A little less ribbies. 300 average. That's, those are good numbers. Freddie Freeman, 93. Like, he's just the best first baseman for a Sim style franchise. He hit 330 on the year. Gary Sanchez is going down, which is weird to see because he had a pretty solid year. Giancarlo Stanton. Average is down. Same productivity, though, in home runs and runs. Glaber Torres. He's a 94. He basically had an identical year to last year. Keon Broxton's an 84. Not bad. Andujar's an 80. And then Tyler Wade is a 79. Ethan Campbell's hit the 80 mark. So, okay, just not just not that amazing of a hitter. Marcelo Zuna's an 84. Ronald Torreira's is a 74. And Hermosillo's a 77. And he only had 36 at-bats this year. Okay. Um, looking at our prospects, Sesa is a 78, Sheffield is a 74, Schmidt is a 72, and Jaime Villa is a 65. Ben Heller is really the only um, relief pitching prospect. Until you get to the closing pitchers, we have Cesar Nieves, who is a first year draft pick. Um, McCaig and Janeway were season two, and you can see they're actually decently, they're you know developing decently. Um, Anthony Siegler, I I don't know where I got him. I can't remember. Adrian Guerra was a first year draft pick and he's a 68 already. Those are, that's not the power, but the contact and fielding is there, um, which I like to see. Um, no one really else. Um, Florial's a 73, which is good to see. We have Khalil Lee and Freddie Beverly there and then no one else there. So we have a couple decent farm prospects to build around. Um, but for the future, it might be a little bit difficult. So let's 
see who we're gonna play we're gonna play oakland so we're not playing the red sox that's that's good that's good the red sox have been our bogey team we just haven't been able to beat them as i say that though we are down two to nothing to the a's what is going on why can i not get past the first round lately so you can see the a's squad there let's look at their pitching real quick mangdan montas we lost to 270 overall pitchers basically you can see our squad compared to theirs like we should not be losing to these to this a's team we should we just should not Alrighty, so like let's let's get into it first at bat a single judge to run homer that's what i like to see um we do have the two run lead as i say that it is now a four to two ball game are you kidding me six okay second okay okay i can i can uh, this is cool this is cool there we go okay judge thank you what is this game right now 13 runs in two innings like both pitchers are almost out of stamina after the first two innings like they've already taken theirs out. I'm probably gonna have to take my pitcher out too. Yeah, I'm. I'm not even gonna take any chances. We're facing. A... Let's bring in Sunny Gray because we need that long relief. Gets us out of that. Sanchez, Stanton. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, so we still have that two-run lead. Can we build on it though? Okay, Judge. Oh, Judge is on fire today. And we can't take advantage of that leadoff single. All right, there we go. Pitching chain. So Trevino, Trevino is in. We get the single, a pop up, a double. We get one more run. That's awesome to see. We need. Okay, another one. Bases loaded and a fly out. Ooh, that's good. Okay, Stanton, Torres, someone, anything. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> um, Batances come in. Yes. Okay, we got the three-run lead. Can we make it four? No. Batances, I'm going to let you do this. Please. Yes. Okay. Whew. Okay. Holy cow alrighty next game yikes holy smokes all right we got we're gonna let stripling goes because Tanaka's a little bit low on like his overall um let's okay a walk I'll take that another walk a single we get the run home that's awesome bases loaded yes three run lead to start the game yes we get out of that okay whoo judge is a monster this series makes it four to nothing there we go torres makes it five nothing get him in scoring position ah, just... Alrighty, there we go there we go a walk a walk a double play that's unfortunate that's a good inning that's a good inning S stanton that's clutch right there adds another insurance run that's awesome. Wade doesn't get on. LeMahieu doesn't get on. Judge walks, though. We can't take six innings. Perfect. That's what we needed. We needed a good long inning, a good long outing after, yes, after the last game. And that, that's all we're going to ask of Stripling. We're going to bring in Chad Green. Okay. Whew. Okay, that's good. Can you give me one more? He does. Okay. Whew. Single, single, walk, strikeout, not good. Okay, nine to nothing. I, that, that should be good enough. Um, we'll bring in Minea. Sack bunt, two outs, and we get out of it. Nine to nothing. 
whew, it all comes down to this game to make it out of the first round for once. Um, we're going to let Sevi. 70. Do I let Tanaka go so we can have Sevi for the next series? Let me see the calendar. We, sh we should be okay. Who's who's left in the playoffs? The Angels, man. Ooh. I, I gotta let Sevi go. I gotta let Sevi do it. We're facing a righty. All right. Let's. Do we have another lefty in the? No, we don't. Okay. There we go. There we go. Hit by pitch, strike out, ground out. Mm. Double play. There we go. Stanton. Yes, one nothing. We get a single. Nothing else though. Double, a pop out, a strike out, and a pop out. Perfect. A double. All right. All right. Can we get advantage? Come on. Score the run. Scores the run. So it makes it two to nothing here. There we go. So it's still two to nothing. Keon Broxton steals second. He does. Come on, let's move him over. There we go. Oh, couldn't get the sack fly, but we do get two runs out of it. It's four to nothing. And we're, we're, we're holding. We're doing well. We're doing well. Okay. A double. Oh, can he steal third? He does. Can he bring him home? He does. Makes it five to nothing. That's good. That's good. Sevy, give me one more. That's, that's good to see. A single, a fly out. Freddie Freeman's having a rough postseason right now. feeling good about this now double play though hmm strikes him out Tyler Wade Mayhew okay judge Freeman walks no more runs there we go yes a complete game shutout by Savvy that was that's good that's good and we're taking on the Angels all right I need to move the um, pitching rotation so that man this sucks all right game one we get the win game two we get the win game three we get a win game four game five there we go and we're taking on the Dodgers in the World Series whoo all right That's a that's a that's a good one right there. We needed that one. So in the World Series, you guys can see the Cubs got swept by the Dodgers, so they didn't make it to the World Series this year. Whew. All right. Let's uh let's get into this. Game one, we take a two to nothing victory. Nice. Game two, we take the thirteen to eight victory. Okay. Game three. Could we sweep them? All right, let's see how it goes. We're in LA for this one. We're gonna let Stripling do this. You can see their squad. Odubel, Tolls, Odubel Herrera, Seeger, Bellinger, Justin Turner, Muncy, Grandal, Fam, and they have Maeda pitching. You can see Maeda Kershaw. Um, I think that's Walker Bueller. And then I don't know who their other two pitchers are. Yadier, Yadier Alvarez, and then someone else. But Whew, this is gonna be a good game double to start it off and then we make it one to nothing Gary Sanchez gets the single there we go Broxton nope Torres Torres makes it two nothing this is awesome this is great this is great a walk a strikeout all right so two nothing hit by pitch an error Stanton that would have been really nice to get another insurance run Keon Broxton strikes out Torres strikes out and Wade flies out so stripling there we go that's what I'm talking about LeMahieu judge some judge come on <sighs> two to one ball game all right that's enough I feel like they're gonna bring in someone so Sonny Gray strikes him out strikes him out walks I'm gonna bring in a lefty Gets the ground out clutch right there. That's clutch. All right. Ugh. 
boom there we go right that was we needed that a double okay a walk oh he's thrown out at home all right pinch hit we're facing a righty i'm gonna let anduhar hit brings home the run yes yes all right so we got switch right left 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 hicks there we go there we go judge flies out freeman singles nice sanchez singles stanton bases loaded sack fly that's all we need makes it four to one makes it five to one makes it seven to one all right give me give me a good inning here hicks i'm not messing around i'm not i'm not messing around we're bringing oh this is the eighth okay Batanz has come in gets us out of it perfect all right this walks okay one out two out and you guys know what we do for the third out let's hop into it alrighty Odubel Herrera guy on first two outs hold on let me actually turn on some sound for this game so you guys hear what's going on while we do it while we win hopefully a world series and we don't blow this we got Felipe Vasquez in Whew. That's a good start. Nice little slider. Let's start him off with a little high fastball now. Alrighty. To win the World Series, we're hitting him with the curve. There it is. So, as you guys can see, New York Yankees win the World Series. So, it's, it's been a while. It definitely has been a while since we won a World Series in a rebuild but this team deserved it like this was one of the teams that was like we have some prospects still in the farm system they consistently had one of the best records in the mlb in the sim style franchise it was just a solid team like they were consistently over 100 wins um their team is just unreal freddie freeman at first um lemayhew at second was solid along with um tyler wade you have glaber torres at second and short third baseman and Duhar is going to continue to develop um it's just it was a solid team um so let's let's go look at the stats and talk about this team a little bit more so the playoff mvp was aaron judge and tyler wade is the um world series mvp he hit 625 with three rbis so looking at the lineup um you guys can see i think this is the playoffs yeah, this is the whole of the playoffs. So, really the person that had the roughest time was Gary Sanchez. Even Freddie Freeman kind of picked it up at the end. Um, and DJ LeMahieu a little bit. But, um, just a, a solid team. Like, LeMahieu was a good little pickup. Judge is a monster. Freeman's absolutely amazing. Sanchez, Stanton, Glaber Torres, Keon Broxton's an 85. And he's 29 so he'll still develop a little bit more um anduhar is what 25 he'll develop more tyler wade 25 he'll develop he'll develop he's probably capped he's got some years ahead of him he's probably capped he's got some years but he's a 98 so lemayhew's probably capped um we got osuna who's probably about stopped Hermes heel hits about mid 80s from what i remember pitching sevy's good manea's good to develop Montgomery's good to develop. Stripling's probably about done, and Tanaka's done. So you may need some pitchers soon. But even here, Sonny Gray, he's got a year, a couple years left in him. Chad Green, um, Hicks definitely does. Manea definitely does. Claudio does. Batances probably capped, and Vasquez is probably gonna stay about the same too. But you guys can see, there's not too many moves that you need to make. Um, and even with those pitchers, you have Sesa and Sheffield coming up. Um, we have Schmidt down here, like we have the pitching prospects of Nieves, like this team is set. We have Guerra for a first baseman. This team is set for the future. This was one of the best teams we've created. They won a World Series because of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. I'll catch you all in the next rebuild. Let me know what you guys would have done differently, what you guys agree with, what you guys think about it. So that's it, guys. Peace.